Yeah, that is. Um, Welcome, this is Patricio, a.k.a. Rocky. You'll remember me from uh, With the Side of Chaos, but today is episode 1.5 of Patty Time. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, why why 1.5? Well, because the first episode of Patty Time was an episode and a half because of the uh, trouble that I went through for Rob from, um, oh my God, from Fast Eddie's Vape Shop. One of the best fast uh, vape shops that you can find here in Central Florida. They have everything you need from juices to mods to... Uh, uh, automizers, everything you need for your vape, that is a place to go. Right there at uh, Fast Eddie's off of Michigan Avenue in beautiful South Orlando. And uh, tonight, I'm doing something cool. Uh, I'm sitting down with uh, one of my best friends who I've known for a while, who was actually on with the Side of Chaos a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Annie, welcome back. Hi. Dude, what was the sponsorship that you do at the beginning? Oh, that was for uh, Fast Eddie's. They're kind of like an on-again, off-again kind of thing sponsors. I mean, they help me out with a couple drinks when I go there, and they're always beautifully staffed. And they know their shit. Like you can go to a mom and pop smoke they, shop. Do they, they have pancakes? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I think a vape shop that would sell pancakes would be the tits. Ooh. I know, right? Right. I pancakes now. Cool. Well, I think any place that has pancakes is like uh, the place to go. Right or wrong? I love, I love pancakes. So, like I said, tonight we have. Um, I'm sitting down with Annie, and I'm uh, tonight is the first time I've ever met her brother, and her brother is in a line of work that. We all know, and we see all the time, but we don't ever want to deal with their ass because they they either show up at the worst possible time or cause that worst possible time. And then I'm sitting down with his buddy, who um, basically destroys homes. HP. Watch out. So we're gonna cover that real quick. Hello, dynamic towing. How you doing? Oh, okay. Alrighty. Well, where am I going? This westbound 408 at mile marker 19. Mile marker. So it'll be in the four, this west of uh, the plaza of the 14 row. 14 row. Okay, so it's on It's on 408 though, right? Correct. Yes. Alright, cool. Alright, thank you. On the way. Bye. 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 Wait, who was that? Well, oh, that was our first caller. Yep. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> what, what was that? That's the police. They just called him. That was them. a cop? She yeah. sound hot. Yo, you should see some of the troopers that be over there. That's boy. what I'm saying. So, right, so you work for an agency here in Florida yeah. that removes vehicles. Yeah. Anything like that one is an abandoned vehicle. So somebody either got fucked up, couldn't drive, left it there, or the car broke down and just left it there and it's been there for over, I think, two days or a day. Mm-hmm. So what's like the limit? Like let's say for example, I get a flat tire and I have no spare and I need to wait till payday, which is like day after tomorrow. Am uh, I fucked or do I do I have hope? Uh you you always they always put a sticker on okay. the car for abandoned vehicles. So it's either it's pretty much twenty four hours. Um if you happen to see a trooper, you know, it'd be kinda easier like that sometimes because you could tell them like, yo, I'll be back. Give me a day, you know what I'm saying? Just oh, tell them or leave a note on it, but they'll always give you 24 hours. They they can't just take it. Uh huh. Um, but yeah, you always the highway. You have to get it cleared. If it's on the street somewhere <coughs> where it's okay in a parking lot or some shit, they'll give you maybe a couple more days. But highway shit, it's a little more uh, on the important side. So how long, <coughs> how long does it usually take you to uh, to get a vehicle out from a location? Depends on the actual crash itself. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's upside down inside of a house. Like, oh. I just I just posted one. You saw my Snapchat? I just posted one from a year ago. Actually, I have to get... I have to go. Hey, you been working with them for a year already? Yeah, more than a year, actually. Man. Damn, this yeah, sucks. Time is time yeah, like flying. Go. What you, sucks? You and Rocky could come. Yeah. <laughs> what sucks? No, I... So we're th- th- you see. Luckily, I called it one point five because I would I need to fucking finish yeah, an episode I'm with sorry. you. No, no, you good, man. Uh, what kind of girls you like? Shit, anything that has to do with Latinas. <laughs> so you prefer Latinas over anything? Oh, no, yeah. check this out. 
This is me coming to the scene. What's your favorite style of Latina? Like Puerto Rican, Venezuelan, well, Colombian? I like the Puerto Ricans, but they, they bitch too much. Wow. I'm trying to go back to uh, They were racing or something. Uh huh. Yeah, and then South look, America, you see the roof fall as I'm pulling this Jesus car. Jesus Christ. Watch, watch, watch. So yeah, we're watching a video right now of uh, the extraction of a car from a fucking house and the roof just caved in. Holy yeah. shit. Were they drunk? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, I guess they were racing. It was two cars, and they, luckily that was a garage, not the whole house. Yeah. Yeah, they could have killed somebody. Fuck. Yeah, so they ran through the garage, but one of them ran through the garage door, went like drove a little bit into I the house. The other one ran to the side, door, open. like the side of the wall. Yeah, the damages they cut to cost to that house. Like, this was this oh was man. The other so day. right now I'm seeing the the right side of a vehicle, a Bronco, literally caved in. Mm-hmm. Like the the tire look, is. Look at the look at the look at the control arm. Oh, it's is that on OJ the floor. Citizen? God damn. Damn. And what happened to the other vehicle? The other one hit that car. This one. Check this one out. This lady uh, unfortunately oh. died. Oh, my God. You see how you see no vehicle, right? Yeah. It's, it's submerged. I'm pulling it as we speak. We had to get the Orlando dive team. To get the body out. To get to get them and to find the vehicle. We didn't even... We, I couldn't <coughs> see it. See the dive guy? The, yeah. I was, that was gonna be my next question. Have you seen like a fatal? Have you picked up? Oh, a fatal? I, this one was a fatal. I had a couple fatals. Motorcycle accidents are the worst. Um, Is that why you don't drive a motorcycle anymore? No, mine's just. I, <laughs> I'm still pulling this is, it. Uh, impulse and I got it. it. Took a while to get it, but I got it. God damn. Wow. Damn, I was hate. Was the lady I, still in there? Yeah. When you pull it. What's one of the funniest pulls uh, you've had? You, I mean, uh, a bike. This one caught fire. Oh, shit. <laughs> Look, it was melted to the floor. Oh, like, my God. You can see the back how... Um, so, so, I'm taking uh, like, the the gas tank exploded? I think so. Yeah, I believe that's exactly okay. what happened. Because right there, you see different sh- different shades of color yeah, it's on like the back gray. of the trunk. You see the smoke, like, color all over. Damn, it. it yo, that shit fucking it, melted. It, yeah, it, it burnt the paint Yeah, that's right not, that's not a crinkling. That's, like, a melting. Mm-hmm. Like, a stretch of the material itself. The suspension, the wheels melted. Rocky, Look, what are you doing? whole right side is melted. You are chewing on my bag, Rocky. Not cool. <laughs> All right, guys. All right. I got it. I feel like you chew. should have left like 10 minutes. No, no, no. I got it. I have half an hour to get to the scene. Yeah. And being that it's uh, the 408 right there, it's going to take me like 10 minutes to get there. Beautiful. Yeah, and I'll mm-hmm. go ahead and observe. Why not? Stay with me. So you've gone with him before. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what's for for you? Uh, not like not being in that line of, uh, line of work. Like, what was the cool one of the weirdest shits? Not funny or sad, but like the one that like, yo, how the fuck? The drunk guy. The, the drunk, drunk guy. The Mexicans. It was a Mexican drunk guy with a Lexus, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, that was a crazy one. But like, what 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 was the accident? Like, what uh, what happened? Oh, uh, he hit a couple of Asians in the road, and they uh, unfortunately called the cops. Oh shit. And he was driving under the influence. I work in law, so like I deal with DUIs all the time. And you have the 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 right to remain silent is one of the most important things you need to remember. Correct. When you get stopped. Correct. It's the shut the fuck up law. Yeah, you exactly. Shut the fuck up. Don't say anything. Shut the just fuck shut up. The fuck up. You're gonna <laughs> win regardless. Just shut the fuck up. That's yeah. it. Or you could be like me. I know I speak English. Seriously? Oh, yeah. You pull that on cops? Oh, see. And, the, and you know what happens? The cops will basically, okay, uh, stand by. Hey, can you get Rodriguez over here? Like, they will call in an, an interpreter. Because I've seen an hour later. You follow up with two guests? You also follow up with two guests. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, over here. Was there no, no palafro to guests? No? Yeah. 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 It was funny when he said it. I know. I'm slow. Yeah, you're a little bit late to the party. And if they come, I'll be like, bonjour. <laughs> So what's your line of work? Because we talked about this a little earlier. Well, I do a lot of things. Okay. I sell cars, I bodybuild, and uh, unfortunately... Wait, you get paid for bodybuilding? Yeah. That's a thing? I train. Nice. By who? I train my brother, I train anybody. Okay. I've been doing it for four four years now. And you were showing me some pictures of like before and after. I want to see the apps when they come out. And that's insane. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure that takes like strong dedication... To get to the physique that you're at right now, you have to hit it. Just eighty percent nutrition. The other twenty percent is what you put in the gym, and it's all mentality. Really? Yes, yes this is true. Because like I've been, I, I did a drastic change a couple months ago where I stopped, I stopped drinking, and I started going to the gym like ever, like maybe two or three times a day. And I was eating salads. I was just comfortable. I mean, like 
low fat, like no fat in my diet, and only water. And you saw the change that happened to me in two months. Yes, that happens because people think that you have to go to the extreme just to look a certain way. You don't. It's just the little things in life you change make like the biggest difference. And what's the one thing that keeps you at that at, at your uh, position right now? I'm never satisfied where I'm at. So it's the it's the desire for more. Yes. Okay. Damn, that's a that's fucking beautiful. Um, I'm sorry that we have to end this uh, episode short. Uh, thank you guys. This is the point five because believe me, I want to do another one where we actually have some oh, fun. Oh yeah, 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 yeah man. You guys can come back. Let me know. Yeah, yeah but then you're just gonna go again. No. Well, the th- oh well, actually, by the time I come back, it's gonna be dumb late. Then my girl's gonna get here. She's gonna be wanting to do. Home yeah, home no, home. no, no. We're out of here. Like, <laughs> yeah, because it takes me the scene alone. Depending on how bad it is, again, I'll be there for like an hour. I try to milk it too because the long. For every fifteen minutes I'm there, I get paid thirty one dollars and twenty five cents. So if I'm there for two hours, that's two fifty. Oh, an hour is one hundred and twenty five dollars. Thanks, Obama. All right. Well, you guys have a good night, and we'll see you later. Wait, what was that? Thanks, Obama. <laughs>